is our front paw. Gold is our three-quarter. One through four positions, we try to front. Now, obviously, we don't get there all the time, but that's what ideally we would like to do. With a five-man on the block, we want to call a gold, which will be behind. We're going to teach you as a five. Now, all the drills go hand in hand. If he has the ball here in our shell, where would we all be? White on defense. All right? You, square, exactly. You're battling him in the post. All right? Now, we're shrunk. All right? Just, no, you're fine. You're fine. You were already shrunk. You're good right there. What we want to do now, we're square, ball pressure, let him feed it in. Now, you're going to cut through. What we do, as soon as he enters the pass, we call, we don't want any jet cuts. And what we mean by jet cuts is, if he goes here, we don't want him to be able to go baseline, because what can you do? And what don't we have? We have no help going this way. It's too late for you to get there. So what we do is, as soon as they feed the pass, feed the post, excuse me, I jump my feet here, and now he cuts, I force him through here. And just like you're doing, as he's coming, we want to tag, hence the name of the drill, tag cutter, boom, get him, boom, you get him, boom. Then you're going out. You see, everybody slides Now you rotate, everybody's rotate one spot, go through. Yep, Passes you, out. Yep, you've gone three because I took you. You're fine. Exactly. Close he throws it touch. back out. You guys are in your help position. Back in your help. Yep. You're back in help. Now you enter into the post. Jack same cut. way. Pop your feet. Send him through. Everybody gets a tag on him so we know that we're sh we are shrunk. We go back out. We go back through. We will continue that all the way around. Then on the last one, let's just say that we've gone through and he's the last one. Throw it in. Cut through. And then what we let him do, we play it live. And, we tell, and then we tell our post big, he can throw it anywhere he wants. So in other words, if you're in here tagging, you got your tag, everybody's tagged, he throws here. Now what do you got to do? Close out with a square, square stance, and again, we're closing out to touch. And then we would play into, you know, quick shot, one pass, and then we play to a rebound to work on box out as well. Just so again, you can see how all the drills build. Scott started with stance. From stance, we go to mind close out. And then we carry that over right in here to what we call our tag cutter drill. So let's go through it one time so you guys can see it. He's going to throw it in. That's it. Cut. No jet cut. Good. Everybody tag him as he goes through there. We call it the meat grinder. Everybody hit him one time going through. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. He holds back out. Good. Hold it one second, Micah. Hold it this one second. This is a drill's happening, too. Obviously, defense is about communication. It's the number one priority also. So as these guys are making these passes, Pass. He's saying no jet cut, no jet cut, no jet cut. These guys tag, tag, I got your tag, I got your help, I got your tag all the way through, and the next guy would be over to help. You got to give that guy reassurance that he's doing his job, but you're also helping him. So start back from the beginning, we'll go all the way through. You guys communicate. All right. Uh, big, big T, take it. Yep. To where you were. And then on Why the last one, That's fine. we'll go That's through fine. the drill one continuous time so you guys can see how it works. And then we're running short on time, but you guys can see it. So we'll do the drill live one time. When it gets to you, after you feed the post, Question then you're live. You can throw it to anybody. We work on the closeout. We get a quick shot and a box out. All right, here we go. Jet, no jet cut. We're talking. We're tagging. Good. Good. That's it. We're golden in the post. Everybody tagging. Good. Square stance on the ball. Pop your feet. That's it. Good. Now, go back. Go back. Just now it's live. Throw it to whoever you want. Close Where? out Close. to a touch. Close out Where? to touch. Box, take your charge right there. Would have been, a, probably would have ended practice. We'd have been so happy. At any rate, so you can see what we do with the shell drills. We go from the stance to the mine closeouts to the tag rollers to the uh, post ups, which pretty much covers everything that you're going to see during an NBA game in half court situations. Fortunate, there we go, it's on. I was gonna say I can yell. Um, we only have time for one question, all right? So one question at this stage in the back. Okay, go ahead. Well, uh, I think Casey talked about in the beginning, it's all based on personnel. Last year's personnel is different than this year's personnel. So how you coach defense is gonna be your philosophy, your, your players, your knowing of what you want to do. Like I said, we stay in a squared stance. I'd say half the NBA teams don't do that. So it's about personnel. 
Uh, it's about maybe your bigs and how they are in their coverages. Maybe they're not good showing bigs. Maybe they're uh, like an Andrew Bynum who has to be back in a, in a, in a soft show. It all, it's all about your personnel and all about your philosophy. We feel like we got quick enough players on the perimeter. It's been our go-to thing. It's been our number one sale to these guys from day one is that squared stance. Uh, Case is the leader of that. He won a world championship doing it to change the culture in Dallas. Like I said, we're trying to do the same thing here by building that foundation. So the expectation is when we get a new player, we make a trade, uh, we get a draft pick, this is what it is. This is how it's going to be. It's very simple, straightforward. There's no guessing. There's no, uh, no other options. And with that, real quick, if I just might add, I'm sorry, but a lot of times, like if Jose is playing someone such as a Westbrook or a Derrick Rose who's very, very quick, he might take a little bit of a step back and not crowd him as much. Whereas if it's a point guard that he has a little more speed than it's a, so it's, again, personnel driven. So you wouldn't be as close. You just, you know your speed, you know your opponent's speed. Thank you very much. Let's hear for Scott and Micah.